array of colors burst across the deck, lining up the entire room which was previously a black silence. The computer bursts to life, a rainbow palette flowing across the screen. The waveforms align as the music is placed onto each turntable. Beyond the mid and high of the tracks is a beat, flowing through the track like jolts of color. The music comes together to create a spectrum, a rainbow of sound. One day I began watching a live stream of the biggest EDM festival in the world, Tomorrowland. I had just experienced one of the biggest hardships in my life the weeks before, and this is something that got my head up for the first time in months. I was soon absorbed by the exotic music, smiles, colors, and people at the festival. After taking in all this, I knew how I wanted to steer my life. I quickly bought turntables and started to DJ. The rush of controlling the music was unlike anything else I had felt before. Soon, I started DJing with my friend Nolan, and our love for music took off. Every day for months, we DJed, creating mixes we knew nobody would listen to, but we didn't care. The exuberant vibes that came off the music we mixed were unreal. We were hooked on what we loved. We refined our skills over time, and eventually realized we had to take our passion a step further if we truly wanted to pursue our dream. I downloaded FL Studio, a digital audio workstation built for creating electronic music. Due to the fact there were similar aspects for DJing, I was ready to quickly pick up the production of EDM. I had no idea what I was in for. Around two months into DJing, I had all the basic sound and DJing was very easy for me. Producing was not the same. For months, I struggled to make the most simple drum pattern. I could see the end of the tunnel, but I could only move in place or backwards. Then a light emerged. I met a top producer in person who showed me skills I needed to move forward. I soon began making drum patterns, melodies, and eventually breakdowns, but I still had to put it all together. I struggled yet again. I was back where I was before. I had some of the pieces I needed, but I couldn't put them together or make the final elements needed to finish the track. I then went into a downward spiral. The spiral lasted three times as long as when I had first started producing. I'd let someone else do the work for me instead of paying attention to what they did. Above all the hardship and thoughts of giving up, I realized this is what I loved. I understood that if I still wanted to pursue music, even when I hated it the most, this is truly what I wanted to do. I knew I had to keep moving, so I did. I learned everything I needed to over months of tiring hard work. Each day was harder than the last, but it got me closer to the end of the tunnel I knew I had to reach. Nolan and I started putting together our first real track. Nolan put together the melody and bass line while I handled drums, synths, and the production side. Our skill sets worked together flawlessly. I had somebody I could rely on for everything that I couldn't do and somebody who could help me with what I could. At this point in time, the track was almost finished and there was something both of us could be extremely proud of. Throughout this time, at the highest of my highs and the lowest of the lows, I knew that music is what I wanted to do, my dream, my passion. Despite the hardship that almost brought my dream down, this was a time that shaped me more than anything else. Without self-realization, determination, and someone to help me guide, it, guide me through it all, I couldn't be where I am now. After countless hours of sadness, joy, and thought, I discovered that my conscience is a beat that is constantly moving and guiding me. Without it, I would have abandoned music, and above all else, I would still be stuck in the cave.